Hi friends, this is Emily with Tick Tock English. Let's practice context. This is an academic word list word, which means you will need this word. You will see this word. Context. I actually really like this word and I like to explain this word. Here's how I will explain. This word is a word that we can use. Do you know this word? Is this word easy for you? I think no, right? This word is poi. What does poi mean? You don't know. You don't know because there's no context. It's just one word. But let me give you some context. How about if I write this? I like to eat poi. Ah. Now we have some context. We have some words before our word that we don't know. We have context. Now, what is poi? Must be food, right? Poi, I look at the words before poi and I think, oh, poi is a food. Yes, exactly. Context is the words around the word we want to understand. I can give you even more context. How about if I write poi made from taro is a traditional Hawaiian, I'm gonna run out of space, Hawaiian food. Oh, now we have a lot of context. Now we almost have the definition. Poi, made from taro, okay? It's a food made from taro, is a traditional Hawaiian food. The context is what's before and after the word we want to understand. Context. We can also have context in a situation. For example, it's important to know the context of a political disagreement before making a judgment. You need to understand a situation before you make a decision. And often you see things that are taken out of context. That means it makes sense. You can understand it in context, but it's different out of context. So if I say, Sandra reads at the preschool level, you say, oh, wow, that's terrible. Sandra, only the preschool level? But if I give you context, I say, Sandra is five years old, and reads at the preschool level, you say, oh, in context, I understand. Context are the words or the situation around the decision or question or word you want to understand. Can you use context in a sentence? Write it in the comments below. Follow me here because we'll practice more important vocabulary words together. You can also follow me at TikTok English on Instagram, and I direct an English language program at instituteace.org. Let's build our vocabularies so we can speak, so you can speak with your unique voice.